Queen will likely see Prince Harry's security woes in the UK as a huge distraction from her renewing her vows to the public and is completely au fait with what is happening within the institution, a close friend of Princess Diana claimed. Stuart Pearce, author of Diana, the voice of change and close friend of the Princess of Wales spoke to US Weekly about Prince Harry's security concerns when he visits the UK and how other royals have reacted. Mr. Pierce was asked what the Queen would make of the situation and believed she would think it was a huge distraction from the point of the Platinum Jubilee which focuses on duty and public service. Mr. Pierce also remarked how the Queen was completely au fait with everything going on within the royal family and understands how certain stories are being taken by the public. Speaking on US Weekly, Mr. Pierce spoke with royal correspondent Christina Garibaldi about the Platinum Jubilee and the worries surrounding Prince Harry's security. Ms. Garibaldi noted the royal family may not want their dirty laundry out in public on the Jubilee year and the security concerns could prevent a reunion. Mr. Pierce said, I think she would probably see it as being a great distraction to this really important year of celebration. Of renewing her vows within the duty of her relationship with the people of the Commonwealth and the people of this nation of the United Kingdom. She will see it as a huge distraction and would simply, whatever, just a hiccup on the horizon of what is taking place. The young people within the family, namely Kate and William, are negotiating their way into how they can successfully fulfill the nature of the monarch's role or support it at least. And Harry and Meghan are trying to do their own thing and liberating their own consciousness. So, you know, interestingly, the Queen is completely au fait with all that's going on. I mean, there is constant communication happening between all parties. Prince Harry requested police protection when he visits the UK and asked the Home Office if he could pay for their security. However, the request was denied after the Home Office refused to become a protection service for celebrities with the Duke of Sussex launching a legal challenge against the move. While Prince Harry has his own protection team in the US, representatives fear they will not have enough jurisdiction in the UK to keep him safe. Immediate working royal family members are provided government protection with the exception of Princess Eugenie and Beatrice who fund their own. Former Royal Protection Officer, Ken Worf, believed Prince Harry could avoid the fallout by using better communication. He explained to Mail Plus, I think what he should have done. He's still got a lot of contacts despite what he might think within Buckingham Palace. That could have made those contacts with Scotland Yard to arrange, at the very least, a liaison officer that would work in conjunction with his protection team. Even before they left America, to make sure that the transfer from the airport wherever that might be to wherever you live in the United Kingdom. Now, if that happened, we probably wouldn't be discussing that now because it would have been in place and everything would have worked. But to make this request at relatively short notice and without any warning, you know, threatening this legal action I think has confused himself if I'm honest. The Duke of Sussex is bringing a claim over the Home Office's decision not to allow him to pay for police protection for himself and his family while in the UK. Harry wants to bring his children to visit from the US, but he and his family are unable to return to his home because it is too dangerous, a legal representative previously said. He is arguing that his private protection team in the US does not have adequate jurisdiction abroad or access to UK intelligence information which is needed to keep his family safe.